Travelling Shearer's Shearer, uh, pretty much international pattern and suits best plain bodied, free combing sheep. So they can cut their blows down, keep a good rhythm, get over the sheep reasonably quickly and make more money. The modern plain bodied sheep that um, Nigel and Kate Kieran sheep are a good example of is the sort of sheep that suits the modern pattern of shearing. So therefore your travelling shearer can come in and he can adapt to these sheep a lot more quickly than he can a heavy skinned wrinkly sheep. Um, it's all about earning money at the end of the day and there can be 10, 12, 15 sheep a run benefit to a shearer of shearing big open, plain, free combing sheep. So there's at least $100 a day in it between good shearing and not so good shearing sheep. There's a lot less skin, skin cuts in these plain bodied sheep. There's less pieces, cribs, less shanks that need taking out and they're often clean around the breech. So the wool can go over the table quicker, which has to be the way it is. You have to be able to get it away because the shearers are shearing more. We've come through a very wet summer. Uh, Nigel and Kate's Karen Pole sheep exhibited next to no colour, no fleece rot, no fly, no fly strike. Whereas other more traditional older types of sheep really caused their growers a lot of work. Other sheds had a lot more colour, bright colour in their walls, lower yielding walls. With the many job options available today, people just don't have to go and work in wool sheds. They've got to want to work in wool sheds. Therefore, the sheep have got to be suitable for shearers, the conditions suitable for shearers, safe, hygienic, decent toilets and facilities to keep people in the game. It's becoming a big issue. Nigel and Kate care and sheep meet all those requirements for a shearing contractor to keep and retain staff and attract staff to his run. It makes it a lot easier. There was 22 nations in the world shear sheep. Most of the developed countries have a lot less sheep now. So shearers are having to travel more. And the Northern Hemisphere shearers won't come to Australia. They can't handle merinos. They'll go to New Zealand and shear there. The New Zealanders are quite reliant on UK shearers to get through their season in the summer. But the UK boys won't come here. The Kiwi boys will come here because they're probably the most adaptable shearers in the world. But they will avoid certain areas in certain runs. Um, and often with shearers, the shed staff follow, and you need them both. Well, people with tough, harsh, combing, yellow types of sheep, heavy skin, slow shearing types of sheep, just aren't really going to get the sort of shearers they would want. They'll, those sort of sheds will be left to the end of runs or when the shearers come free from other areas, because shearers do travel a lot between areas to keep working. Mm. Well, breeders have to understand they can't have it both ways. They have to provide decent conditions, decent sheep, decent um, means of people making an income and enjoying their work while they're on their properties. You really need people to come back. They've got to want to come back. And that's the biggest message. There's not enough um, young Australian people who will put up with crap conditions when they could go and work anywhere, even in reconstruction in Queensland or in trades, huge demand, mines. They don't have to stay in our industry. The best you can hope is that some stay 10, 15 years in the industry and get out, but the others have to see a clear passage, a clear pathway to come through and better themselves. You just can't go down the pub and fill your teams up. There's not the people in the towns.